Hey Night Fighters, Augie with TNVC with another Night Vision Minute. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about IR aiming laser zeros. Y you may have heard a little bit about this online. The internet loves having arguments about what is better, you know, parallel zeroing or converging or co-aligned zero method. Real quick to define what those things are, essentially a parallel zero method, if you look at something like this Steiner D-Ball A3, so if you look, you can see that the aiming laser itself is slightly offset from the muzzle of the rifle. So what a parallel zero is, you maintain a parallel offset. So at any given distance, your laser is going to be the same mechanical difference away from the bullet strike as it is on the rifle. So parallel zero or a constant offset method is always going to be slightly off from the bullet strike. Bullet strike's not a very good term, is it? Point of impact, yeah, it should be point of impact. <laughs> the other big method of IR aiming laser zero is what's referred to as a co-aligned or converging zero method. What that means is for whatever distance that your day optic is zeroed at, you adjust your aiming laser to match that point of impact so that you have point of aim, point of impact at that distance. So if you imagine the line of sight coming out of your optic and then the line of sight of the aiming laser those will slowly begin to converge until they hit the same point at a distance, whatever your zeroing distance are, before they start traveling apart again. So those are the two main methods of IR laser zeroing. People love arguing about which is the better method, parallel zero, converging, or co-aligned zero. Generally speaking, both methods work. There are some people who believe that a constant offset method is a little bit more accurate, a little bit more precise. At the same time, you need to shoot a parallel zero in order to achieve that firing solution. Whereas with a converging zero or a co-line zero, as long as your day optic, as long as you're confident that your day optic is properly zeroed, you do not need to fire any additional rounds. Also, it's much easier to confirm with your daylight optic. And if you have a multifunction aiming laser like this BE Myers Mall here, you can use that visible laser to confirm your zero. Here's the thing, infrared aiming lasers or any laser for that matter, it's not a zero point beam. All lasers will have something that's known as beam divergence. Obviously, you know, we're not here to talk about the accuracy of rifles and ammunition, but they are also not zero point aiming solutions. And then, oh, by the way, your aiming lasers will also have relatively coarse adjustments, usually about a third of an MOA adjustment. So in a lot of ways, it's almost arguing about nothing because many times, a true parallel zero and a co-aligned zero at a sufficient distance is going to be the exact same zero within the margins of error of your weapon, your ammunition, your own marksmanship, the beam divergence of the laser, and the size of your aiming point. This has been Night Vision Minute, slaying some sacred cows about IR laser zeroing.